So if you've or if you're new to Inventor 2015, one of the things they've done is, is changed how constraints work in the in the sketch environment. I mean that's not completely true. Constraints are the same, but how you modify and work with them after. Um, really the whole concept of having to show constraints and, and turn them off is, is, is really gone here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a um, new line here. And I can see it's snapping horizontal because my preference is, is for horizontal. And now I can see that it's going to come in here it's going to snap perpendicular. So this really isn't any different. But notice how it, it's showing me the constraint after I've applied it. Well now I can see that it's actually snapping perpendicular to the last object. That's not really what I wanted. So what I'm going to do is just come over here just kind of rub the line here. And now notice that it's actually going to snap parallel instead of perpendicular. So I was able to, to kind of apply the change the inference um, based on kind of what I was what in context. So as I move my cursor over, it kind of changed the context of it. Now let's actually end the line command here and let's start it again. And notice here that again it's going back to horizontal because it's ignoring the other object. So it's assuming that I'm starting the line command over again. So it's saying, okay, I'm just going to ignore everything else unless, of course, I do the same trick. So unless, of course, I come in here, kind of rub this line, come back, and now notice that it's going parallel to that line. So it's all this, this inference um, that's controlling that. Now, if I come in here and I go into my options here, so if I go to my constraint settings and I go to my inference here, notice that I am inferring constraints. So that means that um, I do want it to, you know, infer um, constraints. So as I'm sketching, you know, I do want it to kind of guess what it is that, that I'm looking for, which is good. See, we can see that that's actually enabled in there. So we can see that, you know, on the inference tab, it is inferring constraints. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to change my constraint inference scope. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from geometry and current command to all geometry. And this is actually the pre-2015 um, default. So now notice that when I come in here, um, I guess it's because those objects were already there, but um, it's it's going to you know relate to anything that's in there because I changed that to, to all. What I can also do is come in here and actually set the scope. So the scope is actually going to be you know these lines here. And now I've set that that that's my my reference. So you know when I come in here and start start drawing things, it's going to want to go as you can see there perpendicular to that line, parallel to that line, but it's going to ignore this line down there. So it's just in your in your constraint drop down here in the sketch environment, you can actually change your your sketch inference. Now really where this comes into play is when you've got a lot of sketch geometry especially when things are kind of off the screen and it's snapping parallel and perpendicular to things you can't even see. So you can end up with constraints that you didn't really intend. So the default option of just within the current command really eliminates that problem. Now another thing with constraints um, being in 2015 is that they will actually appear as you pick your objects. So you can see that as I pick my object, the constraints automatically appear. So no longer do I really have to show the constraints, make my changes and then hide them. I can simply come in here, select the objects, find the constraint, right click on it, pick, you know, delete to remove that. Whoops, I didn't want to delete the objects, did I? But I can actually come in here and I can right click and I can actually delete that, that constraint that I, that I selected there. So you can see how, how you have that option to, to change that. So it's just a right click on it um, to, to change that. So uh, a little bit different in the 2015 product. So making it easier to deal with your constraints.